Hello, David here, RadiationHealthRisks.com. Today we're going to just do a real short video and we're going to test the radiation that comes out of a typical uh, cordless phone. Um, we're going to do that. We're going to, I'm sorry for the review, for those of you guys that have seen this video, we're going to measure it with a high frequency analyzer. This measures microwave or RF radiation. And it's directional, it's really cool. It's not very expensive. I love having it because you can measure earbuds, you can measure your smart meter, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth in your car, whatever you're worried about the radiation on. Anyway, this measures up to 2,000 microwatts per meter squared, which is twice the U.S. safety limit. A lot of the uh, European countries, or most of the European countries, don't even have as high of a safety limit as... In other words, they have a more restrictive safety limit than the United States does. Theirs are usually 100 to 200 microwatts per meter squared that they allow. But the U.S. is more lenient. They allow up to 1,000. This measures up to 2,000. So when, when you see the, the numbers going here, as soon as it goes to a 1 here, that means it's over to, uh, the capability of the meter. It's over 2,000 microwatts per meter squared. This cordless phone is definitely going to do that. So you'll see that here. Um, again, the problem with a cordless phone, um, besides, I mean, obviously it's putting out red radiation, but it, it puts out radiation all the time, 24-7, whenever it's on. And, uh, and as you'll see, it's a significant amount of radiation. So let's, let's test it really quick. I'll turn this on. It's picking it up. See, it's already maxing out. I hold it close here, it kind of goes down, but when I go here, as soon as I point it right at the cordless phone, it maxes out. Hopefully you guys can see that maxing out there. So, um, as far as alternatives uh, to a cordless phone, by far the safest is a corded phone. You know, the old-fashioned phones with a cord? Those don't put off the radiation that these do. They don't put off for, um, at least anything that this will pick up. Um, so that's by far what I recommend is is if you, especially if you're going to have if you're going to be on the phone a lot, um, you want to have a uh, you want to have a corded phone. If you absolutely have to have a cordless phone for certain situations, the safest are analog phones, cordless phones, especially the older models. The older ones were on a lower gigahertz frequency. Um, that were the lower the frequency um, on the frequency scale, the safer it, it is. Um, and the older ones were were uh, pretty low, and they were they were a lot safer than than uh, the the modern ones now. With the, especially with the deck technology and all that, those things are. Um, way high up on the frequency level you can see what they're what that's what this is you can see what the what the typical one puts out they've got some newer analog phones the problem with the newer ones again they're still safer than than your your regular non-analog cordless phones um they're lower on the frequency scale but they're a lot higher than the old analog phones used to be it's like the the more time goes by even with the analogs they get higher and higher frequencies so if you can find an old uh, analog cordless phone that would be the best um, if you have to have you're into the gadgets and you have to have the latest technology um, what I would recommend is uh, called an eco mode or eco mode plus that's a regular cordless phone that hasn't that setting on it eco mode or eco mode plus make sure that it has that setting before you buy it what that does is that makes it so that you're your base and your and your handsets do not put off the radiation that they normally put off um, <clears throat> unless you're receiving or making a phone call. So there's no radiation going until till you're receiving or making a phone call. That's uh, still though, if you're going to have that thing by your head on the phone all the time, get a corded phone. A lot smarter. So, hope that helps. Appreciate everybody. Thanks for watching the video. Talk to you later.